He is the namesake of Broward County, but the statue built in his honor is sparking new controversy. Napoleon Bonaparte Broward is also a former Florida governor, and his statue stands at the county courthouse. But with recent calls to remove statues and signs named after Confederate leaders, residents say Broward's statue should also be taken down. Our local 10 News investigator Rob Norman has this exclusive tonight. South Florida's largely dodged the controversy over racially charged monuments. But now this statue in the Broward County Courthouse of the county's namesake and former Florida governor, Napoleon Bonaparte Broward, is being targeted for removal. This is a monument, not of fairness, but it's a monument of divisiveness. Attorney Harold Pryor, president of the T.J. Reddick Black Bar Association, is working to move the statue out. And he already has an ally in Broward public defender Howard Finkelstein. Here we have an individual that believed in a separatist nation, one for black people, one for white people. Finkelstein is referring to a Broward speech in which he said that blacks, quote, should be given a country of their own for their happiness and good, saying such a move would, quote, keep sweet the lives of white people. I am a fifth generation Floridian. Um, I don't think my ancestors deserve to go to another country or to another territory. For African Americans to walk by a statue of a man that didn't think that they should live in this country on their way to a criminal courtroom is the wrong message indeed. Broward State Attorney Mike Satz wouldn't go on camera today, but said he doesn't oppose removing the statue. This statue has to go. We it was attorney and courthouse blogger Bill Jellen who raised the idea with this provocative web posting. He wanted them out of the United States. And mind you, this was happening 40 years after the Civil War when these issues were settled. Ultimately, this may come down to the Broward County Commission. I spoke to Broward Mayor Barbara Sharif. She said she never heard the issue, but was open to the debate. In Fort Lauderdale, I'm Bob Norman, Local 10 News. Bob, thanks. Pryor said he will meet with Chief Judge Jack Tudor to discuss the statue's removal. As of airtime, though, Tudor had not returned Bob's phone message for comment. 